Hey everybody. I am using my mic that is not the one in my camera. I hope the sound quality is better and not all horrible and terrible. Um, <clears throat> I've known all along I could do that, but I'm lazy and I didn't want to have to always go find it and plug it up. Uh, how's everybody? I know I look tired. I am tired. Um, we have been so crazy busy. We've been having some really, really bad times and also some good times. I've, a couple of years ago, opened myself up to wackiness and to delightful surprises in my day-to-day -day life. And um, so, therefore, I have, like, wacky, nutty things happen to me, and I embrace them and enjoy them. And luckily, Falcon's the same way to an extent. Sometimes I have to goad him into things, and sometimes he has to goad me into things. But... Uh, We've been having some bad times, mainly because of me, because every year I forget about it, and when it sneaks up on me, it just attacks me like a beast, um, and I'm talking about really bad depression, and not just, oh, I'm sad, but like my mood's switching really quickly, and suddenly going berserk on people, crying hysterically for very little reason. Um, biting people's heads off and being a little paranoid and just being kind of crazy. And it wears me out because I feel out of control and crazy, which I am. And it wears out people that love me that have to be around me and try to deal with me and deal with all the hurt that I dish out and then try to understand why an hour later I'm happy-go-lucky again. It's just, it's craziness. And I go through this every year. Right around the holidays. Well, usually it starts right after Christmas or right before. It'll start right before. And I think part of it might be the stress of the holidays sort of kick in. Because I'm around a lot of family. And I'm kind of a loner. I'm somebody that likes to be by myself a lot. And suddenly I'm around a lot of people and we're clashing. And there's, you know, we're saying little snipey things to each other sometimes. And um, I take things way too hard. I get my feelings hurt. And... I anticipate the little squabbles and things, and that makes me upset. I just kind of have a nervous breakdown, especially right after Christmas, which is odd, because then everybody's gone, and it's back to being calm and normal. But I don't know. I think it's it's something chemical. And I would think that it was that SAD or SADD where it's a sunlight deficiency, but I'm not one to much get in the sunlight to begin with. So I'm really not sure what it is, but whatever it is, it really eats me alive. I mean, I lose friends, I lose lovers, I lose a lot of self-respect. It makes me feel so bad about myself because I'm so out of control and crazy. Um, last year, I got on medication. When I noticed it starting up again, I went and got on medication. It was um, Zoloft, which I had taken in the past and done really, really well with. Well, it never did really help much. It took the edge off of it a little bit, but it never really made me feel right. I didn't feel stable. And for those of you that don't take antidepressants and don't have depression and don't understand it, do not leave me comments, nasty rude comments, because unless you have experienced it, you don't know. You don't know the level of misery. Um, and antidepressants do not make you happy. They are not happy pills. They do not make you feel happy no matter what happens. They stabilize you so you can feel normal. So you don't have insanely high highs and insanely low lows where you want to die. It just makes it so that, at least for me, it makes me so that I perceive things properly. And I have normal, proper, and appropriate emotions. It does not make me happy. I still have the full range of emotions. They're just not so all-encompassing. And you know, it just it doesn't eat me alive. So anyway, I didn't realize my doctor had me on half the dose of medicine that I had been on in the past, and on 50 milligrams. And so I had a really bad week last week where I was just not even really wanting to live anymore, and thinking of all sorts of creative ways to, um, you know. But in the end, I couldn't do it because I knew it would hurt other people too much. I couldn't do it. It's just stupid. So, but I mean, when I got that law, I realized, you know, I probably need to go back to my doctor and see about getting something a little stronger or something different or whatever. So I did. I went Monday to my doctor, and 
and he says oh well I started you on half of what you're on before let's let's jump you up to 100 milligrams okay that would have been nice if I'd realized that a long time ago but so I just started today on 100 milligrams a day and I am hoping so much that it's gonna fix me up and help me to be able to be somewhat normal hey Falcon yes could you close my door please Maybe say hi to mom hi mom Thanks, sweetheart. Um, so hopefully this will put an, an end to uh, me pretty much destroying my relationships with everybody around me. Falcon's been sweet. He's hanging on, but I mean, it wears on him. He gets real tired of it. So anyway, hopefully I'm over the worst of that, and I'm not going to suffer until spring like I usually do. Usually I am in the deepest, darkest mental and emotional hole. If you'll go back and look. In my past years here, there's almost no videos between about a week before Christmas and spring. There's almost nothing because I am in my own little mental hell. Anyway, hopefully I'm going to get to bypass that, but we've had some bad times because of that. Um, we've also had some real good times. We've, and we enjoyed our first Christmas together. I managed to hold myself together most of the time. And my family was pretty patient with me. Um, got some great gifts. I got a uh, cool little, what do they call it, Com commando tripod. The ones, I wish I had it up here so I could show you, but I've been so out of it. All of my Christmas presents have been pretty much in a box at the foot of my bed since Christmas. But my stepmother gave me some wonderful clothing. My stepmother always overdoes it. Bless her heart, she gets started shopping and she can't quit. And there were these huge, you can't even see my arms, but huge mounds of gifts on the coffee table for my sister and myself and for Falcon. My, my dad and stepmom and my, my mom here have just completely embraced him. They love him so much. He got so much cool stuff, clothing. And, you know, my dad got him guy stuff, got him a, a knife and sort of scary hunting knife and uh, not that falcon hunts he doesn't but you know guys like to have these knives around and got him this huge heavy ridiculous mag light which he just loves and uh, but I got some books falcon bought me a bunch of books that I had on my Amazon wish list and they're funny books I've been greatly enjoying them I wish I had some of them in here to show you but I do not maybe another day I'll do that um, it's kind of funny though because one of them is called Interior Desecration. It's a James Lilick's book, and I, I just idolize James Lilick. He has a wonderful website, um, lilicks.com, L-I-L. I'll try to put a link to it. And so it's about um, horrible decorating from the 70s. And oddly enough, like the day before Christmas, this, my sister and I went to a thrift store in Lincoln that happens to be open one day a week at night. So we went to it, and I got this book, because I love books on interior decorating from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. I can find any from the 40s, 30s, and 20s. I'm sure I'd love it, too. But, oh, it's so musty. It is so musty. But inside are these sort of horrendous, horrendous rooms as well. And it's like, oh, some stuff fell out. It's like, in a way, I got two books that are alike, except for this one's serious. I love those kinds of books because I don't have the patience to read a long story anymore. I've lost my patience for that. But I totally can do books like that where I can open it up and read a couple of pages and put it down in a lot of pictures too, you know. And come back and pick it up and read some more and I haven't lost my place and I don't have to remember the stuff that I read a week ago. So I love books like that. It's perfect. And one of them is Regrettable Foods by James Lilix. And, uh, it's from cookbooks, which is another thing that I love, old cookbooks. And it's just these gross, horrendous looking um, pictures in these magazines and books and stuff um, of gross looking foods. So I got some cool stuff. What else did I get, honey? That I, what, oh, I got my um, digital recorder, a little Olympus digital recorder, which is just the bomb. Again, I have misplaced it. This place is a wreck because I've been so out of it, um, which I'm hoping to use for EVP and who knows what else? I'm looking at him over you guys. Sorry. And uh, so I got some real cool loot for Christmas. And what else? What else did we do at Christmas time? I don't know. This video is going to be horribly long. 
I'll make another one later about other stuff. I can't remember half of what I was going to talk about. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain about my health problems. I've been having another health problem that's had me down for about a week. I got to have my first CAT scan yesterday. Been in quite a bit of pain. But uh, hi, sweetie. I see you over there. But we went yesterday after my CAT scan. Went to um, man, it was weird. They injected me. They gave me an IV. And they injected me with this stuff called Contrast, and it made me feel like I was peeing my pants. It was very weird. Look what I got. Look what I got. I love it. He looks like my godson, Simon. But it's Big Boy. I've been fascinated with Big Boy since I was a little child, and we'd go to the Bob's Big Boy, or I forget the other one we would go to, somebody else's Big Boy. And there he'd be, gigantic, looming over the restaurant, usually a hamburger in one hand. I know I'm jiggly. This is all balanced on books and things on my bed. There he'd be holding this burger or like that. And I just loved him. I mean, he's got awesome hair. He's a pudge. I like it when the pudges are representing. Um, and so we were at this cool flea market in Fayetteville. If anybody lives locally, down on College near... Um, near I'm trying to think of the cross street my sister used to live on I can't think of it I feel terrible now okay where, where Marvin's IGA is and then Caddy Corner there's an auto zone and there's that little plaza where there's a cake shop and I don't know what else it's called Flying Dog and it is this cool awesome if you're a hippie if you like your bongs <laughs> and your and your your little Rasta hats and stuff there's a little store kind of part of it you get all that kind of stuff and all kinds of um, radical stickers and buttons and stuff. And uh, it smells great in there. And then there's like the regular flea market. And it's all vintage stuff. If you like vintage stuff, you got to stop in at Flying Dog and check it out. And I got my little smiley boy. I'd take him home and clean him. He was kind of filthy. I got a pretty good price. And I, went on, I thought I got a real good price. And I went on eBay and found that it's about what they're going for. That's fine. I just didn't get ripped off. He's a bank. You can put money in the back of his head, but then you got to pop his head off to get your money out. And I don't want to end up cracking him or anything. He's from 1973. He's a little bit old. Not as old as I am. I'm going to put some pennies in him so he'll stand up and not fall over. And then he's going to sit up with, I don't know, my rubber chicken collection maybe, and my visible man, and my skull, and on my knick-knack shelf. Um, let's see. I was going to show you one more thing that I got that's kind of cool that you might want to get if you don't have it already. Um, oh, I left it on. Ooh, blue light. I don't know. It's unnecessarily bright. It just lets you know it's turned on. It's battery operated, although you can buy um, a converter cord, like a DC 9 volt, to put in there. I have one somewhere, but I don't want another cord. This is a little speaker. I got it from Family Dollar Store. It's called Cube. There's two little speakers there. You can plug your MP3 player in. You can plug it into your laptop. Anything where you need external sound or more external sound and it's awesome 10 bucks i'm gonna go back and get my mom one and i think i'll get my sister and give it to her for her birthday because it's fantastic to go anyway that's it it's always about the stuff and what i bought isn't it so i know this is long but tough titty i haven't made a video in a long time oh my stepmother has completely corrupted me i'm now wearing fake nails and I love them so much. It's all I talk about. Poor Falcon. He has to hear about my fake nails all the time. But I love them because they look good. My nails break off in the winter. And this keeps me from chewing my, my skin around there, which is just a nervous habit. So my skin looks good. My nails are actually growing, my real nails, because they're not exposed to the elements. And because they're so thick, I can't really scratch and pick and do stuff. So my skin's getting better. They're fabulous. It's a cure-all. Okay, bye, you guys. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good Christmas. Bye-bye.